Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, my channel for crafting, collecting and Harry Potter. Um, today's video is a brand new unboxing. Um, so this is the wizardry box. Um, so this is a South African based um, subscription box. You can either buy these as a one-off box or you can buy them in um, three chunks of three boxes um, and these are they're a bi-monthly box so these are every other month um, and these are they're 499 rand so South African rand um, which they do have a little converter on the website which equates to about 27 pounds um, I'm not sure what it is in like dollars and things like that but obviously for myself that's what I converted it um, into um, so it is quite expensive shipping um, because it's coming to me from South Africa it will vary depending on where it goes to um, but for me it is quite expensive so um, whether I carry on getting this box I'm not sure yet I'm going to take a look what's in this box and then I will probably decide um, after that but fortunately it is only every other month that this box is around so it's not like it's a monthly box um, they do also do um, special boxes um, so I think every I can't think how frequently they are but they do like special edition boxes as well which are like based on a theme so the last theme was transport magical transportation I have ordered that one as well um, I can't remember when they said that that would be delivered, um, but I will unbox that when I get that one as well. Um, and yes, they with these boxes, they do give you a clue, like a couple of hints throughout, or not hints, they just tell you what's in it basically <laughs> throughout the month. I don't think they tell you everything, but they tell you some bits, um, but I'm not going to look at those because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but yes, so it's quite a good size box. It's the same, similar sort of size to um, the Geek Gear box, I suppose. It's maybe a little bit bigger, actually. Um, so let's get into it. So uh, the first thing I'm seeing is obviously some brown package with this sticker, which I don't, I don't want to rip the sticker. I'm not so fast about ripping the uh, brown paper. But I don't want to rip the sticker, which is Harry Potter in green flames. I don't know if that's a hint. Um, with these boxes, they do um, they do lots of sort of prints and stuff like that. Um, so there's a first look at it. Um, they do prints and things, and they're all sort of designed by local artists um, where they are based in Cape Town um, in South Africa so that is pretty cool um, so that's the first view I think this first thing I can see is possibly a flyer for the special edition box that has actually ended unless this is the special edition box <laughs> which Wizardry box, special edition, magical transport. Okay, so I think this is the special edition box. I thought this was the monthly box. So I can't, I think that's spoilers, so I'm not going to look at that. Um, I'm intrigued now. I thought this was the normal box. It may not be. That feels like this is the special edition. So let's get into it. So it's magical transport. So it's forms of magical transportation. Um, so... The first thing we have, I think, is some sort of banner. It's sort of, it's fabric -y and this is gorgeous. This, this picture. So, it's Hermione. And she's holding her time turner. So, obviously, it's Prisoner of Azkaban. And what's at the bottom? Oh, I think it's surrounded by... The time so she's like in the time turner that is really nice I the thing is I've seen this print on their website and it's a really gorgeous design 
it's really really nice so I'm not sure what this is meant to be though I don't know if it's meant to be like hung up as sort of a wall tapestry I don't know I'm not sure about that unless it's meant to be like a scarf that obviously you wouldn't necessarily see the whole pattern um, but you obviously as you wearing it you would know what it was anyway I don't know I'm not sure then we have homeward bound hot chocolate so it's got um, a chocolate frog on there and it says homeward bound so sugar cocoa powder skimmed milk powder barley malted barley glucose syrup coconut oil stabilizer flavorant and free flowing agent and salt so that's quite cute again um, that illustration is done by someone locally that is a very cute chocolate frog I do like that interpretation of the chocolate frog um, it's padded with tissue not tissue paper shredded paper which is always good um, in here there is a wand so excited to see what that is um, next thing we've got which is heavy uh, flu powder bath salts sorry I think this is resealable actually so I'm going to quickly give this a whiff and then I'll give though the bath salts a whiff as well can I get into it there we go as she suddenly gets cocoa powder all over her face oh that does smell good so they these are in resealable packages which is quite cool um so I can't can't remember how much this special one was um but yeah so then we've got flu powder bath salts uh, ingredients bicarb soda epsom salt citric acid orange essential oil lime essential oil and grapeseed grapeseed yeah instructions throw your flu powder bath salt into a warm bath climb in and be sure to clearly state your private bathing destination because no witch or wizard wants to have a bath in a dodgy street alley in case of a mispronunciation wear a bathing costume soak for at least 10 to 15 minutes so this is going to be very citrusy i'm imagining based on the fact that it's orange grapeseed and lime oh they do smell good and they are green so that illustration um, is that was the sticker on the front of the box is obviously Harry going into the chimney at the burrow then next we have a box it's quite a big box but it's very sort of light so on the top it says cauldron candles and curiosities um, it feels like it's got nothing in it because it's got lots of paper oh I can see something I've got something we've got something. so it's a little bucket it says I don't do well on boats and it's a little tin bucket that says I don't know if you can read that because it's going to be reflective but it says I don't do well on boats And that's it I can't remember who went on a boat at any point I'm not sure obviously Hagrid went to collect Harry on a boat but I'm not sure I'm intrigued by that I look forward to seeing the uh, the sheet that tells you what these things are so then next we have a jigsaw puzzle which is again um, a print and it's a picture it's really bad in this light um, so it's Draco Malfoy um, standing in front of um, the vanishing cabinet you can't really see the vanishing cabinet because it's quite dark there so that's that's pretty cool so that's a it's a print and it's also a jigsaw so you can do the jigsaw of him in that there are still more items so then we've got a little brown envelope which is quite sturdy feeling so let's get into this um, they have been doing playing cards with their boxes so I suspect oh no this is it I bought some stuff to go along with the box at the same time I bought some stuff off of their website so these are obviously them um, so they've been doing playing cards with their previous boxes um for sort of the last maybe two boxes 
two or three boxes that they've been doing for their monthly boxes um, so I ordered those at the same time as ordering this box and so what they've done is they've put those inside this box um, so you won't if you have ordered this box you won't get these items um, so these are just ones that I've got so we have um, Jacob and his uh, pastries we have Newt so these were on um, I will take better photos of these um, these were from a box that I think was when Fantastic Beast 2 came out um, they did these so then you've got Queenie and finally Tina so that was the set that came with that particular I don't know if it was a monthly box or a limited edition box then and the idea of these is they will make up a full deck of cards by the end of at some point in 2020 I think they say on their website um, so then in another one of their boxes they did Fred and George and they obviously had to be the Jokers so there is George and Fred and then you've got in another then a third set that they did you've got Snape in the potions classroom a chocolate frog which is the same chocolate frog as on the uh, hot chocolate sachet and Dumbledore I believe this is the last one Dumbledore oh no it's not Dumbledore with some sherbet lemons which I like and then the last one is a potions bottle which I'm not sure which potions bottle that's meant to be I don't know if that's meant to be um, Felix Felicis because it's gold or if it's just a generic potion I do not know um, so yes they won't be in the box um, but you can order they do have a shop which does have past items um, and things in it so you can order those the only stipulation they have is that you can't order so you can order these bits at the same time as you order in the same order as a box because they'll probably just put it in your box for you um, but you can't um, order two boxes in the same order you have to order two boxes separately so then the next thing we have is a pin which is a Thestral so obviously they travelled on the Thestrals um, again can't really see that I'll take a photo of the whole box afterwards and then we have um, a night bus ticket again very hard to see the detail on that because of the lighting in here um, so it says one passenger for a single journey um, 11 sickles I think it is Every passenger is required to have a ticket to be produced or given up on demand. And I assume that they're not numbered tickets. It's got 16915 on it, but I assume that's just a... Everyone's ticket will have that number on it. Then we have another little brown paper envelope that says, has ministry approved on it. So let's try and get into this without drawing the sticker am I gonna manage it yes done it so this feels like some sort of card so it's an apparition license so license to apparate uh, Ministry of Magic, name, date of birth, Patronus, hair colour, eye colour, year issued, signature, licence to operate, approved by Department of Magical Transportation, Minister of Magical Transportation, Percy Weasley. So there, and there's a little gap there for you to put your own photo. That's quite cute and nice and unique. There's still stuff in here. So then we've got a sticker which is the same uh, Thestral artwork as the pin, slightly easier to see that one. Then we have a little pink envelope with a lime green uh, stamp on it that's the Hogwarts crest. That one peeled off nice and easily. So these appear to be the playing cards that you get with this one. So the first one we have is Harry, Ron and Hedwig flying in the Ford Anglia to Hogwarts in their second year. And then 
we have Stan Shunpike on the night bus. So they're quite cool. Um, I'm not sure if this is a bookmark, um, but it's got three creatures that you can that they flew on at some point. So you've got the Thestral there at the top. You've got the uh, Ukrainian um, dragon from Gringotts. And then finally, you've got the Hippogriff. That's really nice. I do like all those. So, all we have left now is a wand. But I know I ordered a wand separately. And so I can't remember if I ordered it with this box or if I ordered it with um, the normal monthly box. <laughs> so, this could be a wand that you get with this. Or it could be the wand I ordered separately. Okay. Okay this is the wand that you get with this box because um i know which wand i ordered separately so this is the wand that you have so it's quite dark and it's got looks like that so that's the wand i'm trying to think if i know whose wand this is or if it's just a generic wand so let's have a look in the little flyer so you get this that says wizardry box special edition magical transport and it's got their normal logo on it um, so magical transport items homeward bound hot chocolate collectible playing cards apparition license flu powder bath salts character wand so it just says character wand a compulsory item to be used when apparating um, but it may be because they can't say the name of the character due to like copyright issues um, so I'll check that one up afterwards. Um, Travelling cabinet, um, puzzle, wall tapestry, uh, beast pin bag. So it's meant to be a port key bucket. So that's what it is. So there's no longer a need for you to use an extension charm when carrying this port key in your bag. A simple growing charm can be used instead as an alternative when needing to use it. Ah, so this is relates to, in Fantastic Beasts 2, um, they're planning on getting over to France and Jacob says I don't do well on boats and then that's when they turn the bucket into the port key so that's quite clever uh, the bookmark of the three um, flying creatures uh, the bus ticket and then on the bottom it says all items are exclusive to wizardry box illustrations created by at the bibliotaph.blog um, and bus ticket made by at paper moonza so there we go down the bottom there hopefully you can read that sorry if not I have naturally shaky hands so let's count how many items we have we've got one two three four five six seven I'm not going to count that because that's the thing I bought separately eight nine ten eleven 12 items in that box which is pretty good I do like that so it's 12 items can't remember how much it was for this box unfortunately I only remember how much it was um, for the normal monthly box um, so yeah not sure about that one but 12 items pretty good the only shame of it is how much postage does cost to get to me um, but that was a really nice box of items so I really liked that so it just depends whether I'm happy sort of in the future to accept that it's going to be that bit more to get but hopefully I think this one is quarterly so I think every three months you get this whereas the other one is every other month so it's not too bad so it's not like I'm having to spend that every single month so we'll see um, I will have to decide at some point um, because I need to order the next boxes so we will see um, anyway I will include links down below um, and I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you in my next video thanks as always for watching bye